The 1819 Ran of Kutch earthquake occurred at about 1845 to 1850 local time on the 16th of June. It had an estimated magnitude ranging from 7.7 .7 to 8.2 on the moment magnitude scale and a maximum perceived intensity of 11 extreme on the Mercalli intensity scale. It triggered a tsunami and caused at least 1,543 deaths. The earthquake caused an area of subsidence that formed the Sindri Lake and a local zone of uplift to the north about 80 km long, 6 km wide and 6 m high that dammed the Kori, Kori, Purin, Nara River. This natural dam was known as the Alabund Dam of God. Topic: Tectonic setting. The Kutch district of modern-day Gujarat lies 3 to 400 kilometers from the plate boundary between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate, but the current tectonics is still governed by the effects of the continuing continental collision along this boundary. During the breakup of Gondwana in the Jurassic, this area was affected by rifting with a roughly west-east trend. During the collision with Eurasia the area has undergone shortening, involving both reactivation of the original rift faults and development of new low-angle thrust faults. The related folding has formed a series of ranges, particularly in central Kutch. The focal mechanism of most earthquakes is consistent with reverse faulting on reactivated rift faults. The 2001 Gujarat earthquake was caused by movement on a previously unknown south dipping fault, trending parallel to the inferred rift structures. <laughs> <laughs> earthquake The earthquake lasted for two to three minutes. It was felt over an enormous area, from Chennai to Kolkata in the east, as far north as Kathmandu and as far west as Baluchistan. The main shock was followed by prolonged aftershock activity, with major earthquakes continuing for at least 50 years, including one with estimated magnitude of more than 6.5 in 1846. Maximum displacement during the earthquake is estimated at 12 meters, based on the height of the bund and the amount of subsidence to the south. Combined with a lateral extent of at least 80 km, this gives an estimated magnitude of 7.7 .7 plus or minus 2. This matches well with magnitudes estimated using both the total felt area and the area of 8 intensity. Other estimates based on intensity measurements give magnitudes as high as 8.2. Modelling of the surface deformation indicates that the fault that slipped during the earthquake dipped to the north at between about 50 to 67 degrees. As faults that dip in excess of 50 degrees are normally unfavorable for slip, it has been suggested that there was relatively high pore fluid pressure developed at depth to allow this displacement to occur. There is evidence that the Indus River shifted westwards after this earthquake. Alabund <inaudible> 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 The most obvious topographic effect of this earthquake was the formation of a ridge about 6 meters high, extending for 80 kilometers, possibly as much as 150 kilometers, that formed a natural dam across the Purin River. To distinguish it from the man-made dams that were common in the region, the uplifted area became known as the Ala Bund, or Dam of God. The mound produced had a markedly asymmetric geometry, with a shorter and steeper south dipping margin, about 600 meters wide and a dip of 0.65 degrees, and a broader north dipping margin over 5 kilometers wide with a dip of only about 0.05 degrees. <laughs> Sindri Lake. Sindri Lake, with a surface area of more than 1,000 square kilometers, was formed due to subsidence of up to 3 meters south of the Ala Bund. 
Initially, the lake was cut off from the river, damming further upstream had anyway stopped the flow and was filled with seawater. On the western margin of the lake a small delta built out from the eastern part of the larger Indus Delta. After 1826 the river broke through the artificial dam and eventually broke through the Bund itself, causing the lake to become freshwater again. Topic: 1956 Anjar earthquake. The 1956 Anjar earthquake was due to reverse faulting, similar in type to that which is thought to have caused the 1819 Ran of Kutch earthquake. Topic: 2001 Buj earthquake. Changes in stress caused by Coulomb stress transfer due to the 1819 earthquake may have been sufficient to trigger the 2001 Buj earthquake and other historic earthquakes that occurred in the region during the intervening period. <laughs> Tsunami There was a local tsunami that flooded the area known as the Great Ran immediately after the earthquake. The fort at Sindri was destroyed by the earthquake and then partly submerged by the tsunami, forcing survivors to climb to the top of the ruins. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Damage. The towns of Kothari, Muthala, Nalia and Vinzan suffered particularly heavy damage. Anjar, Buj, Lakpat, Mandvi and Tara were also severely affected. At least 1,543 people were killed in the larger towns, the number of casualties in smaller towns and villages is unknown. There was some degree of damage to buildings over most of Gujarat, including the destruction of the shaking minarets of the Jama Masjid in Ahmedabad. At Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, at least 500 guests were smothered at a wedding feast. See also List of earthquakes in India List of historical earthquakes List of historical tsunamis <laughs>